Hey, what's going on everybody? So hopefully this will be a quick walkthrough on how to resolve this glob file pattern error a lot of us are getting. So this came up for me when I did the dbt run select fact trips or just dbt run. For some reason I can't reproduce it now even though I switched back to the original data set that was throwing the error for me. But when I first got it, it was here. The error would read file permissions, something like that. To test that, I went ahead and opened up target, went to the SQL generated, then switched over to BigQuery and tried running it there. And of course now it's working. But before I was getting this cannot process data across locations. So I started looking around at what might be in that location because when I look here in details, this is US, which would be multi-region. These are US multi-region, but these are external tables. So it's pulling the data from the files. So that led me to the buckets in cloud storage. And this one that ends in 2.4 was just the one I made earlier today to fix this. This was my original, the 723. And when I look at this one, Aha, it's US East 1. So to fix this, I went ahead and created another bucket. I don't think it really matters what you call it as long as it's unique. They'll probably yell at me if it's not unique. Of course that's taken. I think it has to be all lowercase. Uh, let's just give some random numbers. Multi-region US. Continue. Standard's fine. Sure. Create. So there's nothing in there now, but I'm going to go ahead and look for transfer service. and create transfer job. I'm going to go to my original bucket that was US East. And let's just do FHV because I know that's the smallest one. And then I'll go ahead and just select my new bucket. Defaults are fine. I'm just going to call this demo transfer. Run once, create. That should be going. Let's give it a refresh. All right, well, I'm confident that's going. I'm going to go ahead and head back to cloud storage. check my new bucket. I see that, oh, actually let's do that one again. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to create a folder and I would do this for the green and yellow and just do a transfer job for each one.
know, I'm really sure they have a recently used in here, but I just haven't spotted it. Would make this a little bit quicker. All right, so the original bucket. Open that guy up for higher vehicles. Now we'll open the new bucket up, select that guy, all right. Back to cloud storage. All right, now they're all there. We can look and see that this is now US multi region. Head over to BigQuery. Uh, this is the new data set I created earlier to fix my issue. I'm just going to go ahead and create a data set here. Uh, can you have spaces? No, I don't think so. And location, make sure it matches US multi region. Create data sets. Let's refresh this real quick. There it is. Now I'm just going to go back to my earlier data set and query that. And we're going to do create or replace external table. And that's fine. We need to change this to demo data sets. I don't think we need those. Oh man, sometimes autocomplete is such a pain. Escape. There we go. All right. And we're going to do formats. I think that's it. Let me look back at the class video. Oh, options, then format. Format equals parquet. Was that source? Let's double check. Oh, URIs. URIs. And I just know that this part doesn't copy. I'm going to go back to my bucket. have the one folder copy the link address that does not look right let me try that again There we go. That looks better. So I'll copy it there. For four higher vehicles slash star. Ah, 
options. It's yelling at me about something. That all looks right. Does it want a semicolon? Do I need quotes? Create or replace external table. There we go. I did not need the as. Is there no as? There is no as. Okay. So it should be good. So now we've got our new table. Let's just do a quick sanity check, make sure that uh, there's actually some data in there. All right. Now the one last thing we have to do is go back to our schema.yml. And in this case, I would change that to the name of the new data set. Here it was demo data set, but I did the trips data all US, which feeds from my US bucket. So you just go through and put the green taxi data, yellow taxi data in the new US multi region or wherever's closest for you. Update this for the schema. And you should be good to go. Hopefully this helps some of you out that were running into this issue. Good luck, and I will see you in the Slack.